so much appreciate you being here and very much value your feedback on the content uh, and know that as we progress through these series the rest of the summer and year, uh, we'll continue building on this foundation that we set today. Um, so without further ado, uh, Claire, could we go take a quick look at our agenda? Thanks so much. Um, and in case anybody doesn't know her, um, I think everybody's used to seeing me on webinars. Uh, this is my good friend, Claire Reddy. Uh, she's in our, our marketing department here. She's uh, really great, helped me build out a lot of this content uh, and drives so much of what you see behind the scenes and within our portal at Attune. So uh, big shout out to Claire. Thanks so much for helping us today, getting this all together. Thank you, Brennan. And I will just thank everyone for their participation today. Please utilize the chat and the QA feature. We'll have a couple of polls throughout, but if you have any questions, please pop them in there. Um, we want to make this a discussion. So the more questions and suggestions, the better. Thank you. Thanks, Claire. And Claire, just a gut check. I think I saw a comment. Chris had said, we've got some echo in my audio. Are you hearing that? Am I, is my sound coming through okay? Great. Okay. Thanks, Claire. Uh, sorry if there's an echo on your end, Chris. Um, so without further ado, let's just take a quick look at an agenda today. Uh, we're going to talk through some tech stack basics. Hey, what's in your agency? How do you identify what you have? Leverage that. How then do you identify what you need? We'll go through some really basic automations that may live within your tech stack, may not. We'll help you discover if, if you don't have any automation capabilities where to go. Uh, we will chat through uh, a couple of basic automation systems, and then I'll have a, a good portion at the end uh, saved for Q&A. Now, before we go to the next slide, Claire, I do just want to quickly mention, or maybe a disclaimer, I am going to be referencing a lot of different SaaS systems today, uh, a lot of uh, pieces of tech that I'm personally a big fan of, whether I use them in my agency in the past or I've seen friends, peers, or mentors use them. We have no sponsors here today. Uh, we're getting no kickbacks. We're, we're genuinely just fans of technology and insurance and anything insure tech related. So we're going to highlight a lot of great uh, companies and systems today, but know that uh, <laughs> these are this is not a sales process or anything. We really just want to give you all uh, a snippet of what we think are some top performers within this segment. So ready for the next slide here, Claire. Thanks so much. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Brennan Grone. I'm our head of account management. Um, I love coming and meeting with agents here uh, who engage with our platform, mainly because I'm a former independent agency owner. Uh, I was a, an Attune Power user as an agent. There were so many things between portal features, product availability here in, in the Midwest, Missouri, Illinois, Ohio. Um, and I think what I love most about being here on the Attune team is our, our mission-driven goal to serve the small to mid-sized retail agent. I know sometimes it can be hard out there without a network or an organization behind you, and Attune is really on your team and in your corner. So um, would, would love uh, the opportunity to, to serve you guys today. So. What is Attune Your Agency? Well, one, it's, it's a great pun that I love saying. Um, but more importantly, wanted to talk through some of these things that seem really technically difficult. And I want to level set that automations, especially what we talk about today, don't need to be complex. We use technology every day to automate simple tasks like bill pay, birthday reminders on your phone, booking an Uber or a ride, playing music, making coffee. Uh, why not leverage this technology to boost your agency's book of business growth? But to do that, you have to create a blueprint for success. And multiple agents within your, your organization or agency should be able to replicate this very easily. If you build scalable processes that work for your producers and agents, this is really how you can maximize income and growth. So when it gets down to building scalable processes, I, I think you're going to need in 2023 great digital tools to do so. And there's nothing better than tech that is specifically built for insurance agencies. So Claire, if we could go on to the next slide. 
Um, here's a little photo of me. This was, uh, I guess, late 2018. I was getting ready to open my independent agency. I'd closed my captive. We did the, the quick, like, <laughs> pulled the red signs down, put the new IA signs up, kept the phone number. Um, this is actually my, my little girl, Alden. She's five now. Uh, time flies. Um, but when I look back on this time, I wish I'd had somebody slow me down and teach me that I needed to leverage technology and scalable processes early in the agency. Uh, really, automation and tech was something I added to our workflow in year two of independent agency. Learning it on the fly was hard. Uh, I think what was most difficult about that was there's this tangible split as a business owner and you, you have to work in your business day to day, but you also need time on a daily, weekly basis to work on the business. And that can come with late nights and early mornings. And you know, for, for anybody here who's new in their agency journey, the more of this you can build out early, the better you're gonna be set up for success to scale well later. And when we talk about working on your business versus in your business, um, I think we all know sometimes the simplest business plans can be the hardest ones to execute. And you as the business owner or as the producer really need to maintain a consistent focus on activities versus revenue generating activities. And that's where technology and automation can really help you come in and do all these low level tasks that don't make you any money for you. So you can do what you do best. Um, and then I think with this comes, you know, if you can find uh, a niche to play in, step out of a generalist space into more of a specialized space that you found success in, scalability comes even faster. So uh, without further ado, if we can move on, let's talk tech stack, right? Um, so we're gonna put a poll up here in just a minute, um, but wanted to just quickly identify like what's, what's an ideal tech stack, right? Um, you know, for me, I, I look kind of up the line of technology. Uh, I function best when I had an agency management system, a CRM, uh, a phone system dialer. Um, I, I was obsessed with reporting, so I really wanted to have a, a powerful uh, business intelligence system. And then as I, you know, grew into this, really started looking around for optimization are there systems out there that do all of this and more? So thanks for participation in our poll here. If you haven't seen it yet, if you were gonna add one new piece of tech to your agency, what would it be? So we've got some, some great answers on here already. Um, love, seeing, love seeing what folks are doing and hey, I, you know, I'm already going to look at the, the something else chats here. Hey, if you pick something else, I definitely want to see you put the answer in the chat because I'm really curious what you're going to be adding. Cool. So, you know, um, ooh, Stephen, integration from a legacy AMS to a new system. That's interesting. You know, let's call a spade a spade. Sometimes these legacy systems, we get used to them. They may not be fancy. They may not have the bells and whistles we want, but they can be reliable. Uh, that makes sense. Thanks for sharing. Got, we've got, hey, we've got some folks in here that are saying they, they want to get better access to like team chat, like a Slack or Google chat. A lot of folks in here talking about comparative raters. Um, Quite frankly, if you do personal lines and you're not using a Raider, I'm shocked and amazed. Um, <laughs> good for you. Um, you know, these, these sales process management systems, that's, that's interesting and um, not surprised to see website and SEO improvements there, right? Um, that makes a ton of sense. So cool. Well, um, I know Claire will share the results of that poll so everybody can see them. Um, but in the meantime, you know, we talked ideal tech stack. Let's let's slow down a little bit. When I uh, when I looked through everyone's survey answers, um, I was maybe a little bit surprised 
at how many people, almost half of people that registered for the webinar when we asked about the differentiation between a CRM and AMS said, I'm not sure. I kind of don't know what it is. Um, and that's okay. So I wanted to just slow down a little bit and talk through what's an AMS, what's a CRM. Throughout this, I'm actually gonna plug a lot of different pieces of tech that we've seen and research that we think are really great and, and helpful in 2023. Um, but when we talk about an AMS, an agency management system is a piece of software that's gonna help you organize your total business. It's more than just sales and your CRM. It's also gonna include what we have on here, client and group info, producer info, policy management, carrier management, we're going to have lots of data analytics going on in here and a lot of current modern AMS systems will come with either a nice open API or business intelligence software plugged in so that it's actually scraping and combing your data and then giving you big like big picture trends and growth rates on all of this. Um, we're going to have great robust information management and then of course the, the devil's in the details right you're going to have uh commissions uploads and downloads along with then like ivan's downloads capability for things like coi generation midterm when inevitably that contractor calls for the 15th or 16th coi of the year you know instead of manually going and creating those accords you can rapidly do that with your agency management system but what we listed in the bullets here really just scratches the surface of what the ams can accomplish I think the best part of these agency management systems that you see on the market now is they're specifically built for insurance agencies, not just general business needs. So if for some reason you, you're looking at your tech stack in agency and you think, I don't have this, if you're looking to optimize your entire agency, you definitely want to invest in a good AMS. It's almost a one-stop shop that could completely revolutionize how you do business. Sales are a very important component of this software, but it's not the only thing it can do. And when you implement this AMS, I, I really think you'll be surprised at how much more efficiently you can conduct business. So let's talk a little bit about Brennan, okay? If we need an agency management system, what's, what's good? Um, so, you know, we've been doing a lot of research on this. Um, so I just put a, a list up here. Feel free, take a screenshot if you're shopping around for one. Um, I put an asterisk by a few here. What's really cool about the systems that have an asterisk as you're gonna see them on our next set of slides as well, because they also function as a customer relationship management system. Hey, we're all, you know, we're all either in the small business world that have previously been in the smaller mid-sized business world and uh, being efficient with your spend and your budget every month is imperative to your scalability, to getting to break even, to, to, to be profitable. So I, I definitely wanna zero in a little bit on some of these agency management systems that cover the whole package, including a CRM. Now, for any of our folks here who said, shoot, I really need to go get a comparative rater. If you don't have a rater, if you also don't have a, a CRM or an AMS, I can't imagine you don't have one or the other, um, Easy Links would be an incredible place to start. They've really built out some nice enhancements to their CRM capabilities. The agency management system they've built has actually become much more robust than it was about 18, 24 months ago. I've been really impressed with the technology growth that they've had there. What I think I love most about the Easy Links system in its current state is that uh, it, it opens up really well with API integrations, specifically with my favorite automation system that we are going to touch on and open up the box a little bit on Zapier later. So Easy Links is a huge front runner here. Um, I agree. I saw somebody mention here that Catalyst is a great Raider system as well. You're going to see me mention them a bit here on the CRM section. That's an incredibly powerful system. Um, but there's another system that I really want to touch on. Um, which is Better Agency. Now, Better Agency is pretty, pretty new to the market. They've only been around for a few years. They started as a CRM. They've built out just a beautiful, incredible agency management system that functions extremely well out of the box. Uh, I also have to say, just as a, maybe not a professional marketer, but somebody who just loves good marketing, 
Uh, they have incredible marketing. I think their founder, Nick Ayers, is hysterical. If you don't follow him on LinkedIn, he's definitely worth a follow. Um, and they are doing incredible work over there. And everything they do is designed to make being an independent agency owner or producer easier, more efficient, and better. So it would be remiss if I didn't, I didn't call those two out uh, and chat a little bit about them. And then Brennan, we just have one question in the chat from Gabriel, the best combo rater. And I believe that would be, you know, both your personal lines and your commercial lines, if we could recommend one. Sure. Um, you know, quite frankly, y'all, not to knock any of the tech on the market. I truly don't feel that there's a good combo rater out there that does both personal lines and commercial lines well. If anybody's like looking to start a tech company soon, that would probably be a big gap in the market <laughs> is a, a good raider that can crunch personal lines and commercial lines. Um, and and I, I think I see Oscar's commercial uh, you know, statement here that you've yet to find a good commercial raider. I think there are a lot of companies out there that are making good effort and attempts. Um, you know, right off the top of my head, I'm thinking of like a like a Semsi or a, a bold penguin, you know, there are definitely attempts out there and they do a pretty good job. In essence, you know, if, if you sell personal lines and you use something like easy links, we know that the rate indications you get out of this are not extremely accurate. And when you think about how much more complex calculating commercial rates are than your general home and auto rates, I think these companies that are building out commercial raters really have their work cut out for them. Carriers have different apps. You know, if you're uh, if you're doing business outside of a tune for your commercial business, you'll definitely understand. Like we probably have one of the shortest apps in the industry. It's what I love so much about a tune. But some of these apps are lengthy, and you hit next, next, next. You fill out five, seven pages of data, and you're still not done. So, um, you know, when it comes to commercial raters. Frankly, I was never a huge fan, um, but I'm sure inevitably some tech's going to hit the market that that will blow us out of the water. So we'll wait and see. Um, great. So without further ado, uh, Claire, let's talk a little bit about CRMs. So the CRM or customer relationship management system is really how you interact with your customers throughout the whole life cycle of the relationship. You're going to outline principles, guidelines, best practices you follow in the agency. Um, you know, as we talk about a CRM software, it's it's really ideal if you care about the customer supporting customer interactions to close the sale. And I think we probably all care about that here. Um, what I always loved about the CRM is it really helps you organize your client data and can help you big picture figure out how you want to interact with different customer segments. Uh, but it's all at its core about maintaining a client relationship. And if you can keep the principles you outline uh, with your team in mind here uh, and align the CRM and sequences to your end goal, this can really take a big load off of your team's day-to-day -day work. In addition, the CRM can help with features outlined above on client interactions with things like an auto dialer and caller ID, uh, tracking clients and prospects throughout the buying cycle. Uh, one thing I always really loved were like the marketing and sales automations. Think email campaigns, texting campaigns, drip campaigns. Um, the texting capabilities are just becoming more and more robust year over year. Um, and then one thing that I know some of the CRMs I'm going to mention here in a minute have that's incredible is like these... Uh, embedded lead generation or lead collection methods that you could actually place right on your, your website, which is really helpful, right? The less data entry you, your producers, your CSRs are doing, the more time they have to take uh, for revenue generating activities, not just activities like we mentioned earlier. Um, I think, I know I say I have a lot of favorite things about CRMs. Um, but I think my favorite thing about a good, effective CRM that you set up well with your marketing principles in mind is speed to lead. The faster you can get to that referral or lead coming across your desk, the better opportunity you have to close it. 
And I actually have a quote here. Um, I love following people in like the tech industry and data collection industry. And there's this great person also worth a follow. His name's Greg Thaler. Uh, he's from Adobe. Um, so this is not original, Brennan. This is from Greg. Uh, contact data ages like fish, not wine. It gets worse. It gets worse as it gets older, not better. Remember, speed to lead. The faster your producers can get in front of the prospect, you know, collect any additional information, the faster you can get back to them with quotes, the better probability you have of binding those policies quickly and eliminating that long tail back and forth. We know that like long tail back and forth, lots of paperwork for smaller commercial policies leads to you thinking, oh, the, it wasn't profitable for me to close that deal. So let's talk through a couple uh, CRM options here. Um, so I've got some established CRMs here. I've also got some new ones. Uh, I stumbled across Radius Bob a couple of weeks ago and one, I just thought the name was really cool. Uh, the, the Bob at the end stands for book of business. So they're really trying to help you encompass everything that goes on in your book of business. Um, I've seen Zoho is a great option as well. I saw a lot of folks are, are using Applied Epic. I don't have a ton of experience there. I do know that they also have a, a decent AMS offering. Of course, you'll see better agency and easy links on here. They were on our first uh, list as well. You, you've already heard me rant rave about those. Um, Ryan, hey Ryan, it's really good to see you my friend. It's been a couple of years. Um, thanks for being here. Uh, Ryan's absolutely spot on. Uh, agency Zoom is incredible. I'm a huge fan. This was what I used in my IA. Um, and it, it really took us from, you know, maybe going 20 miles an hour to 60 miles an hour. Uh, we were, we were flying. It was ridiculously easy right out of the box. Um, and then if we have any, uh, insurance soup folks here, everybody knows I'd be remiss if we didn't uh, address the elephant in the room with agency elephant. So, you know, Hey, if you're not on that Facebook community, uh, at least check it out. Good info there good tech stack recommendations. They talk a lot about automation, help me learn a lot. Agency Elephant's a great system as well. Um, I won't talk about it too much because I never personally use that system. Um, but when, you know, specifically if we want to zero in on agency Zoom for a minute, great system. One, it's, it's ridiculously cheap, okay? Uh, at least on the old pricing plans, they made you pay per agency, not per user. So, you know, as you're growing and scaling your agency, you're not going to see technology uh, costs scale as well. Any bills that I could take and not pay per seat, I could just pay for the overall master user agreement. It's a great thing to keep in mind if you're shopping for some new tech. I'm just going to do a quick, quick check. Awesome. So cool. Um, well, Claire, if we can move on to our next thing. So I just wanted to talk for a minute. Hey, you know, for anybody who looked at this list and said, wow, um, where do I start? What do I need? Let's talk a little bit through what you need and when. Um, and, and before we move on, I, I think I see maybe a hand raised. Um, so if, if you could just drop any question you have in the chat, we're, we're happy to answer it. Uh, but I do think participants are muted. So try not to use the raise hand function. Um, great. So, um, hey, you know, AMS versus CRM, what do you really need? Well, the, the short answer is it, it kind of depends who you are, what you're dealing with in your agency. Listen, if you're, if you're a newer agency, uh, you're probably still low budget conscious. You're still getting that revenue stream going. Um, a robust AMS with, with powerful business intel analytics is probably going to be pricey. Highly recommend, you know, newer agents, you're in rapid growth mode, get an effective CRM. It's going to be all you need for the, at least the first 12 months of your journey here. Um, and I'm going to put an asterisk or a caveat to that, that eventually you will need an agency management system. And so as we talk through growing and scaling and, and this rapid growth phase, utilizing the CRM and automations, one thing that is extremely important 
is that you need to keep your data clean because eventually you're going to need it in a format to move and merge into an AMS system. Now, for our agents that have been in business for a long time, if you're using older pieces of legacy technology or even just more old school methods of tracking, including, you know, paper files and filing cabinets, I highly recommend getting a robust agency management system that can really provide powerful insights you might not have line of sight in because a lot of your files are living in a cabinet. Um, you know, insights I loved getting from even lower level agency management systems were things like premium increase monitors, uh, where as soon as renewals start downloading, you'll get indications of uh, renewal premiums coming in over a set percentage that you get to select. Uh, the policy downloads from Ivan's and, and others are extremely helpful for things like COI generation. And then, of course, any, you know, as your book of business grows, the more business analytics and insights you can glean from all your data, the better. Um, so, you know, as we move on, and Claire, I think we're ready for the next slide here. Just most importantly, I said it once, I'll say it again. Um, the golden rule of technology as you are building out your tech stack is keep your data clean. Um, Another shameless plug for somebody I follow on both Twitter and LinkedIn, Kurt Bolacher. Uh, he's like one of the core founders at Stitch Fix. Um, data that is loved tends to survive. Love your data. You need the data to grow and learn from what you're doing every day because you want that data to survive. And whether it's customer contact data, policy expiration dates for pro uh, prospects, or even, you know, an important thing we haven't really talked much about, but like compliance notes and, and transcripts from calls for your team to prove maybe the insured is stating you said this, but you know for a fact from documentation, uh, here's what was covered on a call and here's what was signed for. So the more integritous and clean your data is, uh, the better you are set up to grow and scale in the future. So, Without further ado, let's get to the good stuff, right? Come on, Brennan. We showed up to talk about automations. Let's do this. So uh, before we do that, I want to ask one more poll question. Um, how comfortable is everybody with writing their own marketing content? Um, and think here, marketing emails, texting campaigns. And then, I mean, I don't know, maybe a script calls for your producers. So we'll give everybody a minute here to answer. Um, and then I did put a maybe a little follow up question here, which is, hey, if, you know, a marketing refresh or a, uh, you know, marketing content evaluation was a service that a tune offered, Claire, I'm looking at you. Um, is that something you'd be interested in? So give everybody a minute to answer here. And then Brennan, we just had one question come through from D. If you had any uh, any thoughts on less annoying CRM as a option, <laughs> less annoying CRM. You know, um, I've taken a quick look. Quite frankly, I wasn't able to get a demo on that before we had the webinar. Um, I'll take a look. I I'm hesitant to comment just because I'm not really familiar. But D, if you come back to our next webinar, I'll have great answers for you. I'll have gone through a demo and I'll even give you a review slide on it, okay? Um, and if anyone if anyone in the um, webinar today has some thoughts around it, please put it in the chat. I think we can all benefit from learning from each other. Sure. And I see, hey, you know, Stephen, um, we, we talked about one elephant in the room being agency elephant. Um, but there's another one, right? You know, this guy came to talk to us about tech and automations today, and he didn't say Salesforce. Um, hey, quite frankly, I, I like Salesforce. I think it's a great system. I think it's really overkill for what we do day to day in insurance agencies. That is a system that was not built and designed for insurance agents. It was built as a general solution for the business community. I personally feel based on like dollar for donuts comparing Salesforce to any system that was built specifically for insurance agency, you could spend your money far better uh, than what you're paying to get access to Salesforce. However, 
if you can set up an adequate logical workflow in Salesforce, the business intelligence and analytics you can get via Microsoft's Power BI and the plug in there are incredible. That's why so many big enterprise companies use Salesforce is for the data analytics on the back end. Um, but by and large, Stephen, I think for a, a small retail agent, uh, you know, at least the ones I work with and see across the country, I think the price is pretty high for what you get out of it. And quite frankly, what that person is probably willing to put in to set up the infrastructure properly. I'm so grateful that you asked. So, hey, looking over this poll, um, looks like about half of you are kind of comfortable writing your own content. About a quarter of you um, are really comfortable, and then about a quarter, not at all. Um, happy to see participation in question number two as well. Um, so thanks, everybody, for, for jumping in on our poll. Um, yeah, and Claire, thanks for asking if there's any other Salesforce users on the call. Um, so Claire, let's, let's jump into the next slide. Thank you so much. So really focus on CRM automations here. Let's talk like right out of the box. So when I think about some of the systems we mentioned earlier, specifically like a better agency an agency zoom and agency elephant. Um, what I love most about these systems was when you open this up and roll it out in your agency, there are several pre-built halfway decent marketing campaigns that if you really just wanted to dive right in on day one, you could just go for it. The messaging probably, it's, it's not gonna fit exactly what you say. Uh, it's not gonna sound just like you and how you'd write the emails or the text messages, but by and large, the content's pretty solid. Um, what I really liked were the email campaigns and sequences, the texting sequences. I think what I got the most out of as an agent was building out some advanced triggers and merging together uh, email content, texting campaigns, triggers for my producers to call. And then inevitably when we didn't win a deal, if we act like adequately documented things like upcoming expiration dates and pain points with their current uh, insurance policies or agent, we were able to input nice advanced triggers where you, know, you lose a, a home auto deal no big deal. I know that the renewal's coming up in nine months. I properly input the expiration date into my CRM. And I know 45 days before that customer's renewal, my sequence is gonna kick off and it's gonna email the customer one day, text them the next and give my producer a prompt on day three to, to give them a ring. Uh, and there's nothing like that set it and forget it mentality, right? You set this up, you drag and drop people into the right place in your CRM. And then you're not constantly thinking, did I go through my checklist today? Did I call all the right people? Um, once you have this infrastructure set, you're really set up to be more efficient. And again, activity versus revenue generating activity. The more RGAs you can do, the better you're gonna perform. So as we think here about these, uh, these automations more, this is like the most basic form of, of automation that you can input right out of the box in your agency. But what's next, right? I wanted to take at least a couple of minutes because I know I promised some Q&A time and uh, I'm keeping my eyes on the clock. Um, I do want to take a couple of minutes and talk about integrations because we've talked through important pieces of tech here to power the agency. But what if you don't buy that holistic solution? What if you have some tech right now in the agency and you don't want to go out and buy something new. Well, if you're in that position, the next question you should be asking is, how do I connect the systems that I'm currently using day to day in my agency? And, you know, um, I'm sure everybody on this call at this point in time has gone through this process and sold the policy start to finish. You take in the lead, you document application notes, hopefully in some kind of system, not pen and paper. Uh, you went and ran quotes on a carrier site or in a raider. You called the customer, you emailed the quotes. You probably had to call the customer again to get a hold of them. Hopefully you buy the policy. 
once you bind the policy, then you have to close it in your system, take payment, enter the policy in your agency management system, send out the customer PDFs. And that's if you took payment on the spot. If you bound some kind of mortgage build home policy, you probably then have a 30 day follow up to make sure that that policy got paid by the proper mortgagee. That's like just a basic process. If we act like we got the customer back on the line, the first call, that's 10 manual steps. And what I always found myself and my producers drowning in here was data entry. I put it in this system. I put it in that system. I, I updated notes in agency Zoom, and then I have to go put them in AMS 360 because I want to make sure that I have all my compliance checked off. And in case I ever lose access to agency Zoom, I should probably have it in both systems. And these are probably thoughts you have every day, right? Is oh, they're still entering that data. You know, hey, Joey, go into your policies in, in AMS. If they're not in the system, they don't count. Um, so how do we make this more efficient for ourselves and our producers without breaking the bank? And I think I mentioned, you can see it up on your screen now, uh, my favorite system for integrations is Zapier, by and large is Zapier. And again, they're not paying us to say this, uh, we have no affiliation with Zapier, um, but I truly believe it's, it's one of the most powerful and intuitive systems on the market. So Claire, thanks for pulling this up. You know, this is the first thing you see after creating a free Xavier account. Highly recommend anybody on the call today, if you're interested in system integration, create a free Xavier account, take a look, see if any of the pieces within your current agency tech stack have an integration with Xavier. Xavier touts, and I think they have enough data to prove it, they have the most integrations on the market of any system like them. Uh, which is why I'm such a huge fan. It's so ridiculously easy. Claire, if you'll pop over to the next screen and the next slide, pardon me. This is like what it looks like to make the most basic zap. And uh, so what I'm really thinking of is back to my time as, a, as an IA. Uh, it was before Easy Links had such a robust offering. Um, so uh, easy links was my personal lines rater and agency zoom was my crm so my my producers and myself were generally day-to-day -day running things out of agency zoom i used the dialer i used the texting we used all the drip campaigns and uh i'd enter all the data into agency zoom so i started making zaps and it made our life infinitely easier as i would go through and create new business leads uh, within Agency Zoom, the Zap would run in the background and port all this information over to Easy Links. So as I'm filling applications, customer data uh, through Agency Zoom, voila, about 60 seconds later, my Easy Links form is all filled. I go in, I hit start quote, go through the process. You still click through and double check the data, but it's all in there. You don't have to enter everything. A couple of tweaks, kind of, you know, like going from Raider to Carrier website. Um, you have to tweak things here or there. But by and large, this minimized data entry for my team by about 66%, taking zaps from Agency Zoom into Easy Links and then into AMS 360, the agency management system I used. So I want to pause here for a second and just see, okay. Um, no questions so far. If anybody has questions about this, feel free to chime in. Um, but I, I wanted to just pause here and, and be transparent and honest that when you think about system integrations and automating different uh, systems and connecting them together, it, it sounds kind of difficult. It's not. It's so easy when you have tech like Zapier. And listen, if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, I, I truly made a joke to Claire yesterday. Uh, you know, I work at a, at a tech company like Attune, and I frankly wouldn't know a line of code from a sentence in a book. Um, but it was really easy for me to create automations day to day, maintain them. Uh, Zapier has great notification systems. If one of your uh, automations breaks or isn't working well, you can go right in and fix it and diagnose. Um, 
they've really made this uh, an easy experience.